These are the most isolated and dangerous tribes in the world. From head-hunting cannibals to a nomadic African tribe that is now armed with fully automatic machine guns. We take a look at 10 isolated and dangerous tribes from around the world. There are over 100 tribes in the world who have very little contact with the modern world. Many are content to live in isolation, while others may not even understand that a more modern society exists. Some, however, are very dangerous when approached by outsiders choosing to use poisonous darts, spears, sticks and other weapons to kill anyone who even approaches their communities. Governments around the world are realizing that to protect these tribes outsiders may need to be kept away because diseases like the common cold carried by these explorers can destroy entire tribes in a matter of days. Some people, however, are imposing on their land seeking gold, forest, and even clay. Here are the 10 most isolated and dangerous tribes in the world. 10. Sentinelese Tribe One of the most dangerous tribes in the world is the Sentinelese Tribe. They live on North Sentinel Island in the Bay of Bengal that is located between Myanmar and India. Their island is about the size of Manhattan. Despite the fact that these hunter-gatherers appear to have only flat bows and javelins, the Indian government, who controls the land, has said that they are so fierce that they have forbidden anyone to go within three miles of the island. An Indian naval helicopter attempted to drop food and supplies on the island after the 2004 tsunami, but the pilot was warned away by a tribesman brandishing a javelin. No one knows for sure how many Sentinelese tribesmen there are with conservative estimates saying 40 but most experts suggest that there are between 250 and 500 members of this tribe. Furthermore, it is believed that this tribe's ancestors have lived on the island for at least 60,000 years. 9. Yefo Tribe This tribe lives in East Sepik in Papua New Guinea's central ranges. When British adventurist Benedict Allen made contact with the tribe in 1988, he was greeted with a fierce dance display involving bows and arrows. He was then forced to undergo a six-week initiation ceremony in which he was beaten and fours fed daily. The tribe uses two different types of arrows. They have a multi-tiered arrow that they use for catching fish, and they have a long, single-blade arrow with many barbs that they use to kill pigs and people. Alan, who is one of the few outsiders to make contact with this group, was highly impressed with their ability to walk on small tree limbs. Tribesmen have impeccable balance and can run between treetops completely unaided. This group appears to use their women, who are extremely small in stature, as spies against outsiders. They can almost become invisible hiding among bushes and foliage of trees. To reach the tribe it can take a long as a month paddling along a remote and winding river. Alternatively it can take around six weeks of hard trekking through dense, treacherous jungle. 8. Korowai Tribe not discovered until 1974, the Korowai tribe of Papua New Guinea is viewed as one of the fierce tribes on earth. Many believe that people living in this community may not have even known that other people existed on earth. These tribes' people live in tree houses built 140 feet in the air to protect them against rival tribes that surround their remote village. While they have had little contact with the outside world, they tend to believe that white people are possessed by demons. The tribe has been known to kill people on site to prevent demonic forces entering their villages. It's customary for tribesmen to point a long barbed arrow at any outsiders until peace is established. Cannibalism was carried out in the past, and some experts believe that it is still practiced in rare instances today. It's thought that when a person dies in the community that they believe was possessed their flesh is consumed during a tribal ceremony. It's been long speculated that Michael Rochefeller, an heir to the enormous Rockefeller fortune, befell an ill fate after making contact with this tribe. In November 1961, Rockefeller and a Dutch anthropologist were exploring the remote jungles of the Azmut region of what was then known as Dutch New Guinea. The two were researching the area, collecting artifacts and relics as well as documenting local art and traditions. On the morning of the 17th of November 1961, the two explorers capsized their canoe. Their local guides swam for help but took too long. After drifting aimlessly for hours, Rockefeller believed he could swim to shore and find help. This would be the last time Michael Rockefeller was seen alive. There are several theories as to what happened to him after diving into the water. Some say he succumbed to exposure 
and drowned before reaching the shore. Others think sharks or crocodiles got to him first. The most popular theory, however, is that Rockefeller was captured by local tribesmen. It's believed that he was tied up, killed and eaten for being a trespassing, white demon. 7. Surma or Suri Tribe The Surma or Suri Tribe lives in the Bench Maji zone of the Southern Nations, Nationalities, and Peoples Region, SNPR, in Ethiopia. This tribe is considered one of the most dangerous to outsiders because they often use automatic firearms obtained during the Sudanese Civil War to protect their livestock and villages. They are also extremely talented at a form of stick fighting that they refer to as sajin. They use sajin as a rite of passage for young men, and they also use it to duel over women with the loser sometimes being killed before the battle ends. The tribe raises livestock including cattle and goats and subsists on crops including sorghum maize and cassava. Initiation into adulthood is only held approximately every 25 years, with young men often being beaten almost to death before being accepted as a man. When Russian doctors visited this tribe in the 1980s, they thought the doctors were the walking dead because of the color of their skin. 6. Karubo or Tzlala tribe. This tribe lives in the western Amazon basin. There are reports of violently clashes among tribes in the area. Tribesmen use long clubs that often taller than themselves. The Fundacao Nacional do Indio of the Brazilian government have tried to establish peaceful contact with this tribe of about 150 members, but the tribe clubbed seven of the government's employees to death. The government has determined that this group is so dangerous that they have established a reservation for them with no one allowed to enter the area. While it is not believed that this tribe has any particular religious beliefs, they often practice infanticide, the intentional killing of their infants. Unlike most tribes, it's believed that this community runs on a matriarchal hierarchy. 5. Mashkopiro or Kujarino tribe This tribe lives in the Madre de Dios region in Peru. During attempted contact in 2012, an explorer was found with a bamboo arrow stuck in his heart. The tribe has occasionally been known to approach neighboring tribes asking for food. They tend to live close to the Las Piedras River during the dry season before retreating further into the Amazon forest when the wet season arrives. In 2015, the Peruvian government attempted their first contact with this group believing that they wanted to connect because recently they have been spotted more and more outside of dense forest cover. 4. Totobigaso Tribe the United Nations ordered the Paraguay government to protect the Toto Bisgaso tribe which was threatened by deforestation in 2011. Their first contact with outsiders occurred during the 1940s and 1950s when Mennonite farmers forcibly took their land to raise pigs resulting in killings on both sides. While some members of the tribe chose to join modern society, others still live a nomadic lifestyle deep in the Chaco forest. Deforestation has forced this tribe to become more nomadic. The small communities traditionally live on wooden platforms with four to five families choosing to live together. They only sleep in the hut when it is raining, and each family has a small hearth surrounding the hut for meal preparation. When a tribe member is about to die, a hole is dug in the earth. The body is then placed in the hole and the person is buried alive. 3. Mercy Tribe it is believed that mercy male babies are born to be mighty warriors. Their religion revolves around worshipping the spirit of people who have died. Therefore, dying in battle means that person should be worshipped by his ancestors forever. In order to pass into manhood, boys must prove that they are masters at using fighting sticks. These implements of war have a large phallus carved on the end and are used to bludgeon opponents to death. Again, when a man is ready to get married, he must fight other men who may be interested in the same woman. After their marriage, they must regularly lead raids on neighboring villages to steal their cows. While many men still use traditional fighting sticks, some are trading cows for automatic guns. It's thought that older model machine guns cost around 20 cows while newer models go for up to 60 cows. 2. Flecheros The Flecheros tribe live along the Jandiatuba River in western Brazil. This tribe is known as the poisonous dart throwers. It is believed that until very recently, this tribe of about 30 members had absolutely no contact with outsiders until gold was discovered near their settlement. 
locals and foreigners rushed to the area looking for their fortune. In 2017, two gold miners were attacked by tribe members. It's alleged that the miners slaughtered as many as ten members of the tribe, cut them up into little pieces and dumped them into the Jandiatuba River. The miners might have gotten away with their crime if they had not headed to a bar in a nearby community where they bragged about what they had done and the gold they were going to find. Brazilian authorities point out, however, that it is difficult to investigate the murders when the tribe's people speak a totally separate language and do not want contact with outsiders. Nonetheless, they are committed to bringing the perpetrators to justice. 1. Mokan Tribe The Mokan tribe spends most of their lives living in wooden boats off the shores of the 800 islands that comprise the Mergue Archipelago. This area located between Burma and Thailand is claimed by both countries. They are a nomadic people who rely on spears and nets to catch fish and other things from the sea to eat. Their boats usually have a kitchen, living room and bedrooms. The tribe faces two different problems that may eventually lead to their extinction. First, the food supply is shrinking as people pollute the waters. Secondly, both governments are fighting over who should help these people assimilate into modern society when most members simply want to be left alone. While they tend to be very peaceful, they will use spears and other weapons to defend themselves if provoked. They are considered one of the most isolated tribes in the world because they can be seldom found on land. That's all for today. Join us next time by subscribing our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button.